Hello golfers, PGA teaching professional Todd Kolb, director of instruction for US Golf TV and the Todd Kolb Golf Academy. First of all, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I've got some great information for you. I'm going to give you three specific things, three specific drills that you can do that are going to once and for all eliminate three putting and it's going to be some great information. Now before we dive into that though, just give me a couple minutes here to explain a few things. Number one is I'm going to make a couple assumptions. I'm going to assume that you've got a pretty good setup when it comes to putting. Now if you do not or you feel like that's a, something that you need to really address, be sure to check out some of my other videos where I've specifically talked about the five keys to a proper putting setup. The other thing that you need to be able to do already before we dive into these drills is you need to have good what we call face control. That is the key to good putting, the ability to deliver a square club face. We've done some extensive research on that. I've even done a video on that that lays out how you can practice that. Be sure to check it out if you feel like you do not have good face control. But today we're here to talk about three putting. What can we do to eliminate the three putt? Well, let me give you some data to just to kind of open up your mind a little bit about how often do just even a really good golfer actually three putt? And then quite honestly, it's more often than you think. So when I look at data, I've got literally hundreds and hundreds of rounds of data collected on tour professionals, top level college players, and even the best high school amateur golfers in our area. And here's what I can tell you. From around five to nine feet, all right, pretty typically a putt that most golfers are gonna make, even a touring professional, if they're making about 50% of those, that's pretty good. But the key to three putting is once we start to get around the 15 to 25 foot range for a weekend golfer, you're probably more likely to three putt than you are to one putt. Now for a touring professional, that break happens right around 25 feet, give or take the level of player. Now why is that important to understand? Because when you're playing a round of golf, this is the first key to eliminating the three putt, is when you're putting and when you're out on the golf course is when you get to that range of 20 to 25 feet and beyond, you should be thinking about lagging it, getting it up close to the hole and making a good two putt. You're not going to make a lot of putts from 25 and 30 feet, but you can three putt. So that's the first tip I want to give you is understanding where kind of that break takes place. Now, there's three real drills that I want to dive into here to kind of help you understand. And one of the great things about all the information that we provide for you is we love to hear from you. We love comments. I mean, we have done videos and you might disagree with what I'm saying or what I'm about to propose here in these drills. That's great. Let's hear from you. Or maybe if it works for you, we want to hear from you also. So be sure to put in some comments. Now, the first drill that we do, this is an old standard one. Now, I use an elevated string line. It's called the B string line. Now we've used this for years. It's one of my students' favorites. A lot of people might use like a chalk line or things like that. I like the elevated string line for a number of reasons. One is, is that it's easier to use. You can pack it up. It doesn't leave any marks on the green and it works great. So a lot of you maybe have done this drill already, but you've practiced it on a straight putt. That's good. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But the reality of it is, is most putts on the golf course, they're not straight, right? They've got some form of break to them. So when we use it, we actually move it so that we can practice putts that break. Two benefits there to this drill. Number one is you're actually practicing your green reading. You get to see, did I read this putt correctly? Because if the ball starts on the line, the elevated string line, and does not go in, you probably didn't read it right. So that's the first benefit of this particular drill, the elevated string drill, is it helps you understand if you're reading putts correctly. The second part is, is it can help you understand matching the line with the speed. And that's a key component when it comes to good putting. Now when we do this drill, I like to do it from a, you know, probably 15 to 20 feet, because that's kind of where that break starts to happen, where we go from the one putts to the three putts. So that's a great drill. It's called the elevated string drill. It's something that I'm going to, you know, recommend and hopefully helps you out. Now, the next drill that I want to use, or I want to share with you, I should say, is just a typical mirror drill. Now, we here at the Academy, we use a lot of products from Eyeline Golf. They make a great, great product. And uh, today, that's the one that I use. But there's other ones that you can use, but this is the particular one that we use. And once again, most people, if you've done this, used this before, you've done it from maybe straight on, three, four feet straight on. This is great to check your eyes, your shoulders, your putter face, those types of things. But once again, most putts are not dead straight. So we practice this at an angle. So when I use the mirror drill, when I recommend for you, you do this at maybe three, four, five feet. 
the previous drill we just did, the elevated string drill, that's from further away. This one is for closer, but do it on a putt that breaks so that you get the benefit of learning to read the putt, starting it on the right line, and hopefully seeing it go into hole. So that's a great another drill that you can do. Now the third drill that I want to share with you, and there's a little bit of a funny story behind this. Uh, we work with a, a, a players of all levels here, touring professionals down to new golfers. And I was doing this drill uh, the other day with a couple of our high school girls, and a lot of gals have these little clips on their hat. And uh, so we named this drill the no mark drill because we want that clip, we don't ever want them to use it. We want it for the gals to be literally nothing but a fashion statement. So here's how this drill works. We like to call it the no, the no mark drill. So what you're going to do is you're going to take five golf balls and you're going to start at the hole and you're going to take five big steps. So that would be 15 feet and you're going to drop the first ball. Take another step, drop it, that's 18 feet and then the next one 21, 24, and 27 feet. Now, the key as you probably already know here, right, is you start at 15 feet because remember what I said earlier in the video? That's for the weekend golfer. That's kind of where we start to see this break between one putts and three putts. So we start there and the whole objective is to putt them up there and think to yourself, is this second putt a putt that I would have to mark? If you don't have to mark it, obviously that's a win. So if you've putted five balls, I think for an average golfer, if you didn't have to mark three of those, that would be pretty good. If you're a top level player, you're probably searching for more around that four or five range. So that's a great way for you to practice that. Now I've also added a little bit of twist to that sometimes if I want to give my students a little bit more of a visual and I'll use just a regular alignment rod and I'll put it behind the hole, I'll kind of measure it roughly about the length of the alignment rod and I'll kind of set it behind there to give them the visual of, okay, I want that ball to hopefully get to the cup but to not hit that, hit the alignment rod. That gives them a sense of where that ball should be finishing when they've completed the putt. So these are three drills that I know can definitely help you eliminate the three putt. And as I said earlier, we wanna hear from you. Do you like these drills? Maybe you've tried a different drill. Maybe you've got a different drill that might help some of our subscribers understand and might help them play better golf. All right, so let's do a recap of what we've covered here today. Number one is understanding that once you get to about 15 to 25 feet, you're probably more likely to three putt than you are to one putt. So it's part of a mentality, part of understanding at this range, hey, it's great to make it, but let's get it close to the hole, let's two putt, let's get out of here, and if we do that, we're picking up shots on the field, even if you're a pretty high level golfer. We've also covered three drills that you can do to help eliminate the three putts. The key component to each one of these drills is add some variety. Let's practice some putts that have some break. Practicing putts that are dead straight is great, but those are not the putts you actually get on the golf course. So hopefully this information has helped you out. I hope you subscribe because we got a lot of great information out there that we're putting out for our golfers on a regular basis. And last but not least, make sure you leave a comment because whether you agree or disagree with me or you've got something else that you think will help our golfers, we wanna hear from you. We love the debate and we love hearing from you, our fellow golfers. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. You know, we're rolling the rock today. Pitch marks all over, so it'll be a miracle if this goes in. I'm missing a ball. <laughs>